The question I frequently ask my students at the School of Drama is, what story are you telling? Because at our core, we theater artists are just that, storytellers. And the quality of the stories that we tell depends on how we use our craft tools to create the best environment to release those stories into the atmosphere for consumption and contemplation. Now, my concern is that the stories we're telling, we're seeking to tell, are becoming smaller, less resonant, incomplete, and therefore less truthful. And that's because we are more and more frequently swapping out the primary tools for storytelling, ceaseless curiosity, constant and conscious observation, deep empathy, and good old-fashioned imagination for a different set of tools. Tools that demand a different kind of focus. Instead of looking up and around, we are looking down and in to our keyboards, our desktops, yes, our headphones, while we are spending our time concentrating on our devices and what they seem to tell us about ourselves, we are missing what's right in front of us. The human stories that live in the physical space between two people, between 10 people, between you and me. I'll end with a short story. It's Thursday morning, I'm heading downtown to teach. I'm on the A train, we are really moving. The train is packed, jam packed full of pissed off, closed off people who don't want the stores to open even one more time before they get to their stop. We get into 42nd Street, the doors open, and a young woman of color barrels into the center of the train. Everybody freezes in anticipation. And she stops, looks up at the woman whose foot she's just stepped on, and says, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. And then she unleashes the most naked, unapologetic, and beautiful smile that just cracks the air. Like electricity, the smile goes from this person to that person to this person to that person. The atmosphere in the train is shifted. And oh, the stories that are released in that subway car. They are everywhere. You can't miss them unless you're looking down and in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>